Good afternoon and welcome to Cape Lane, the home of Bishop's Cleave, for this second qualifying round of the FA Cup. It's the first time that their opponents, Helston Football Club, have ever been this far before. So, the games being played on the 3G surface may hand a little bit of advantage to the, to the home side, but all the action will be brought to you by the exciting Pirin Films. Please picking up the ball again now. Long, long ball forward into Watts. Watts into box. He's through from Jack Watts. Oh, no, taken from Carter. Can he deliver? He does. He delivers well. He's put it in. Oh, what? He smashed it in. Stevie Caldwell has smashed it in to give Helston the lead. I thought the chance had gone from a super corner from Sam, Sammy Carter. Finds Bentley on the back bar, I think it was Aaron Bentley, who he thought had, had actually missed the opportunity, missed the chance. He gets cleared off the line. But there is Stevie Colwell. Stevie Colwell back into the side. He brought back into the side. Smashes it in from his left foot. When it, when has he been in that position to smash a left footer into the back of the net from two yards out? Great stuff from Helston. Bayern Reeves. Reeves battles with that one, strikes one. Ooh. I have to say, the, uh, the partnership there of uh, Colwell and Bai at the moment is, um, is working really, really well. They've intercepted, picked up, tattled, passed, ball well between themselves. And then Wilson on the edge of the box with his left foot. He tries to find the white guy out here. Well, he does, he finds Cop Carter. Oh, I'll tell you what, I have seen Sam Carter in that position two, three times before. If Sam Carter could finish, he should have finished first time. We'd have a top, top player on now. We'd be, we'd be, we'd be getting big transfer fees for him because the boy has got plenty, plenty of talent. Long ball from Bayer. The Bishop Cleave appealing for offside, but it's not. Carter with the ball running at Jeremiah. Lays it back into Cop. Tries a left footer. Drops back to Payne. He flings one in. And Bayer! Matty, bye! Drops down to him, 16 yards out. Helston, another opportunity. Pressure mounting onto the Helston defence now. Pierce puts in. What a good goal! Good, good work, goal. They found an opening down the down the Helston left hand side. Selman working there, got his spa space in into the area, pulls one back. And Helston don't look quite the threat that they were sort of ten, certainly 10 minutes ago. Oh, and how they split them here. Only well, ball comes to the neutrals. And with. <laughs> Well, there was a little bit of uh, trick that he goes on. He tries to back heel. Watts tries to back heel the ball in and into the goal. But uh, Helston caught right on half time. Shot, but Colwell clears away. And goes in the header, but the ball drops for Watts. And he sends one in. Oh, he's got a head injury there. He's. he's um, is that Jordy uh, Jordy Bentley? Going along to play again, feeds it in. Payne clears with his right foot, and there's the half time whistle. If you've enjoyed watching the first half of these video highlights, then please give our channel a boost by giving us the thumbs up. Also, do click the subscribe button if you're not part of our non league football community, and then click on the bell if you'd like notifications of further videos like these. Waters has played cop in. Cops managed to get the ball, but his right foot, he's brought it into. And he's scored! Ruben Wilson has put Helston 2 1 up. They score in the first five minutes of the first half. And five minutes into the second half, Helston go back in front of two goals to one. Jordan Cop will say it wasn't one of his best crosses, particularly with his right foot. 
Richardson into the skip of eight. He plays it out wide. Jeremiah, who had a lot of success running with the ball. He's had acres in front of him every time he's picked the ball up. Selman running inside. Dummies for the skipper. Back to Reeves. Reeves right in line with ourselves here. Blasts the ball wide. He was looking for maybe for it to get to come curling back in. Aaron Bentley brings it long. Drops. Carter picks up. As he's done well, so he drives. Carter drives. He's looking to strike. Oh, and that wobbled and a good save from... Save from Clayton. He's played a great one too in a can. Oh, my word. My word. Absolutely thunderstorm from the right foot of Tom Payne, who puts Helston 3 1 up. And it's only what they deserve in this second half, to be fair. Again, Carter. Carter's been involved in lots of the good stuff that's, that's happened for Helston this afternoon. Wins the ball back. He's played out wide. He's got put into in the cop and the. Payne is firing it in into the box like a steam train. Takes it onto his right foot and fires it top corner. 3-1 to Helston. And there, and we've got Jordan and Nier on as the uh, fine lady walks past again. To the dangerous Watts who puts in the sub. War. War flicks the ball into the box. I see a near. Anir was there. Anir was there and he's headed it and he's headed it straight into Searle. He's headed it straight into Searle and I have to say on first look in here, I think that is... Um, Helston have got away with one there without a doubt. Bishop Cleed working their way in and finding... That's it. Jordan Bentley with a great, great header there out to the sub-war. It's a great ball, great ball in from the here. It comes back to the skippers. The blacky, blacky us. Aaron Bentley again with his with his head. Clears it. Pressure being put on now from, from the Bishop Cleave side. The blue wall, the blue wall of Helston standing firm at the moment. They lead three goals to one. Skipper across to Watts. Watts out wide. Blacky swings one in. And complete and utter confusion in the Helston six yard box. Looks like there's going to be a long throw coming here. Do you know what it does? Launch a long throw. It's into the box. Goes, goes up. He's bounced. It's smashed in. What a save by Searle. <laughs> Under pressure again. Ball comes in. Sings in. Duel again. Wins the ball, but just puts it back out to where it came from. Ball down. Yeah, spins back into his foot to Turner. Turner with his left foot. And it just hit, flicks Stevie Colwell. So the ball comes back in, in deep into the, into the Helston. 18 yard box. Kai Cornish misses out. A super block, super block from Jod, uh, Aaron Bentley. Again, he falls nice to goal scorer Pierce. He strikes. Hello. Oh, it's an in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was a desperate late lunge from Matty Bai. Again, um, it may be that to say from here that you uh, roll that, just roll the game on a few seconds. I think he was very eager to give the penalty. Not that he wasn't, but from the from the uh, Bishop Clee point of view, maybe, maybe. Like so, I think he sent him. He sent him off. And Bayes come in from behind and give away the penalty. So about um, whether they just let it roll on, that, that actually then Bishop please do put the ball into the back of the net. So there'd be a little controversy if, um, if they don't score from this. So what have we got? We've got Anir. Anir with his Cornish connections, of course. I'm for Falmouth Town. I know him as well, it's from Tavistock days. He faces Searle. Searle versus Anir. This to bring Bishop Cleves right back into the game with five minutes left. Here we go. Ania steps up. And Searle saves! Searle saves! What a magnificent save from Mikey Searle. He'll be pumped up now. He's absolutely pumped up, as is the bench. 
the bench celebrate as if it was a goal. Oh, we've got one-on-one -on -one here now. Watts, he's good with this one. He's going to turn back onto his right foot. And he has. He scored it in there. He was always going to come back onto his right foot. And without the best of strikes, it's bobbled in. And within a minute, a minute of the elation that they've kept the scoreline to 3-1. Bishops Cleave, right back in, right back in this with 3-2 now. We learn them about four minutes to go. Helston down to 10 men against the green advancing machine of Bishop Cleave. Wilson thinks he should have the free kick. It isn't. Long ball's played in again. They're just wave after wave now are coming in the attack. Is it across? Newman, Newman lines with the shot with the right foot shot. Lacking the power. Story, story, poor, poor ball from Josh's story. Really was. Watts is, Watts is in. Great challenge, great challenge from Kai Cornish. Bishop Cleves, come on, work into the, the ball into the box. He's a super ball. They split the defence again, and again. And it's Hell Helston have managed to clear that there. Jack Watts has caused all sorts of problems coming out onto this left hand side. They're taking a quick corner. They're flinging it high and long into the box. Searles come out again. And a blunder block by this time. Push up! Come on! This time Ru Ru Ruby Wilson was blocking in there. Blackie's worked in there. And Searle rolls into Searle. It's been signaled we've got one minute of time to go. There's a long throw. Jeremiah flings it into the box. Geordie Bentley is there. Joshy Stories wins it there. And locks on. Drops it. Great strike, a lovely strike from the Gosk. Bishop Cleves, first goal scorer. Pierce, who's had a very good game in the middle of the park. We've had, I've seen the ref, he's looking at his whistle. This will be a momentous, momentous result for Helston Football Club. They must be now within seconds of pulling off a fantastic result. Long ball into the box, it's flicked on, it's dropped in. It's guys scored, they've got an equaliser. It's such a joy, a joy for Bishop Cleave. Total, total disappointment for the Helston boys who have played so, so well. The reaction, you can see from the reaction and the joy of the Bishop Cleave team supporters. It was a super strike, a very super strike. Helston's defence have been pushed back and back and back and then we've got we've got a situation where it just drops onto the edge of the box it's lined it up brilliantly and it gives Searle no chance what's, whatsoever we're literally within seconds I would imagine from the end of the game and there we are Helston Helston within seconds of pulling off a magnificent magnificent result worked exceptionally hard Fully deserved their 3-1 lead, but full credit, full credit back to the Bishop Cleave side, who never stopped. And it ends Bishop Cleave 3, Helston 3.